Greetings, Scorpio. So I'm coming to you with your reading. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off with your Star Code Astro card. This is card 35. So it talks about ascendant and entrance. So it says, how do you see the world? Take a long look at the assumptions and presumptions through which you filter your experience of reality. Really look at how your privilege, trauma, or certain attributes of your history can distort the reality of the moment. Do what you can to dismantle those obstructions so you can see the whole view. Next, it says the front door is only one part of the house. Be willing to look beyond appearances and into the heart, but don't count on others' ability to do so. It says over time, your reputation is built on what you do, not how you look. Next, we have your Rose Oracle card, Scorpio. So it's um, you received one card and it says the Rose Garden. This talks about innocence. It talks about forgiveness. And it says be gentle with yourself. Next, we have the Love Oracle. You received two cards. So the first card says separation. It talks about sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. Then we have the palm tree. This talks about stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. Next, we have the fruits oracle. And the um, fruit that you received, Scorpio, is the peach. And let me find it. Just a second, y'all. Just a second. So it says, Peaches symbolize female sexuality. In Buddhism, it is one of the three blessed fruits. It says, Peach is said to be the fruit of heaven as it relates to the immortal gods. It says, Peach is also associated with wealth, health, and longevity and, and abundance. Next, we have your Native American animal symbolism card, and you receive snake. This talks about shrewdness. It talks about transformation as well. Next, we have your angel number, and you received angel number 223. Angel number 233 could be of some significance as well. So it says, be more confident and believe in yourself. Lastly, we have your rainbow random words. So I'm I'm gonna just list all every all the cards you received, all the words you received. So the first um card you received is a quote, and it says, Keep your face to the sunshine, and you cannot see a shadow. Keep going. Following that, it says remain grounded. You received the card that talks about childhood wounds. Then you received Isis. Next, you received the rune that talks about nature, wrath, and being tested. Following that, we have Aries. Then we have Lazy Lover. Next, we have Roses. Following that, we have the letters E, F, G, and H. So any of those could be first, middle, or last initial. Then we have the rune that talks about awakening, certainty, and illumination. Next, we have likely. Then we have ancestor money. Next, we have Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. So any of those could resonate. Then we have black, B-L-A-C-K. And the color black talks about despair, disempowerment, grief, depression, and hopelessness. Then we have Elekba. Following that, we have Dead End, and then you receive Taurus. So that is everything I have for you, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, definitely thumbs up this video, and I'll talk to you in your next reading.